Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Thomas Hearns. Legends, whose four-way rivalry defined one of the greatest eras in boxing history. Relive their decade of dominance in the new Showtime sports documentary, The Kings, a four-part series premiering Sunday, June 6th, only on Showtime. Nobody builds 5G like Verizon builds 5G, because we're the engineers who built the most reliable network in America. And the more you do with 5G, the more building it right matters, the more your network matters, the more Verizon engineers going the extra mile matters. It's us pushing us. It's Verizon versus Verizon. 5G built right from America's most reliable network. Most reliable based on rankings from Rootmetrics second half 2020 U.S. report of three mobile networks. Results may vary. Award is not an endorsement. The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. Good morning, Hoop Ballers, and welcome to another edition of Hoop Balls DFS Today. This is your Saturday, June 5th edition. I am your host, Santino Cocon, and we just have one game for you guys on this slate. One showdown game. The first game of the second round of the playoffs. Right before I get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out over to our guys at my bookie, simply the best sports book around. If you're not familiar with my bookie or if you haven't listened to us before, uh, get on over to it now. Check it out. It has everything that you can ask for in a casino uh, at your fingertips, a fully fledged casino platform at your fingertips. You can make any sports bet you want, any table game. They have all types of table games. They have live dealers. Uh, virtual dealers, whatever the case may be, it has everything you need there uh, that your regular casino ha- would have. Um, and again, at your fingertips. If you want to join, you can enter the promo code HOOPBALL, that's H-O-O-P-B-A-L-L, and you get your first deposit matched halfway up to a thousand bucks so if you put in 500 you get an extra 250 to play with if you put a thousand you get an extra 500 to play with and it's as simple as signing up and enter entering the promo code hoopball when you're doing so all right guys like i mentioned we just have one game on the docket it is the milwaukee bucks at the brooklyn nets this is the first matchup of the second round um the the nets are the two seed the Bucks are the three seed. This is going to be a barn burner. This is the matchup that everybody is excited about, especially out east with Joel Embiid currently hurt. These are the two favorites to make it out of there. Uh, I know I am going to be tuned in every minute of this series. It's going to be an awesome one. Uh, but let's jump on over to the spread. We have a the Nets are three and a half point home favorites. And we have a whopper of a 241 game total. Uh, doesn't really matter because we only have this game to look at, but it is a big one. On the injury report, we have Spencer Dinwiddie and Jeff Green out for the Nets and Dante DiVincenzo out for the Bucks. I'll start with the the Bucks side of the ball. Um, we are, they are the away team. And uh, I guess I could start with everybody. Um, there's just two sides of the ball here. So, Obviously, there's this the six big guys, the six big names on this series. Um, we have Harden, Durant, and Kyrie for the Nets. We have Giannis, Middleton, Drew Holiday for the Bucks. You want to get as many of those big guys as you can. Uh, probably can only get two to three, depending on if you put them one of them in your captain spot. And it's wise to put one of them in the captain spot because obviously they're going to be scoring the most points in this series, uh, in this game, and whatnot. If you wanted to stack as many superstars as you can in there, you can throw someone else in there that you're feeling okay with in your... um... Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Thomas Hearns. Legends, whose four-way rivalry defined one of the greatest eras in boxing history. 
relive their decade of dominance in the new Showtime sports documentary, The Kings, a four-part series premiering Sunday, June 6th, only on Showtime. Captain spot and then just load up on the utilities, but you do get that extra half a point for every point scored, so it makes sense to have like one of these uh, Hardens or, or Giannis in there. But again, if you wanted to throw a like Bruce Brown in there, and then just load up on some of these guys. That's a solid option, and that's something that I'll be doing in in GPPs. Um, but for me, I'll stick with the top three guys. It, since it's a showdown and, and it's this type of slate with just a top two top heavy teams, um, I'll do it a little bit differently for you guys. So Giannis, Harden, KD, those three are in their own tier. They're, they're a lot more expensive than everybody else. And um, then Kyrie, Middleton, and, and Drew are pretty much in their own tier. And then I'll put everybody else in a separate tier, uh, all the other guys that we're going to fill our roster with. For me, uh, Giannis is my favorite play of the, that top tier. Giannis, then Harden, then KD. I don't think a there's a huge separation between the three, but if I'm going to take my, my chances on, on one of them, uh, Giannis would be the guy that I like the most. Slightly less than Harden, um, and they are all, they're both over a grand more than uh, KD, but... I think Harden has huge upside as well. I think Giannis is the best, especially in the series. They'll put him at center a lot. I'll uh, play power forward, play center, and that only boosts his value here. Uh, Harden might have a lot of Drew Holiday, but we'll have to keep an eye on that because uh, without DiVincenzo, he was rock-solid defender in his own right. But Holiday's going to have to pick one of Harden and Kyrie. Um, I'm not sure who he's going to start. Probably start off with Harden, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> and even still, Harden is, to me, uh, he's just James Harden. The, the guy just racks up stats and does a lot more than um, Kyrie, who's been mainly a scorer lately. But that's how I like it. I like, uh, I'm like i going to have the most exposure to Giannis, then Harden, then KD out of those three. In that order, uh, if I have to pick two, obviously I'm just going to go one, two uh, down the list there. Um, for the next high tier, as I mentioned, uh, Kyrie Middleton Drew, Drew tier, I like Middleton. Uh, I think Kyrie would be the one that I have the least exposure to out of those three. He does cost the most money. Uh, that's one factor. Another factor is I, I do prefer Harden and KD if I can get them one of those two in there uh, to him. But um, I like Middleton and I like Holiday. I don't think the the floor or the ceiling is too far from either of those. Uh, but Middleton's right in the middle of both those guys, and he has had a productive series um, of games against the Nets so far this year. In the three games he's played, he'd averaged almost 47 fantasy points, uh, and he shot terribly from the three in three uh, three point line in those three games too. So there's only room for improvement in my eyes. Um, didn't have like huge popping peripheral stats. He had almost three steals, which is big, but uh, under five assists. Just over seven rebounds, um, but he didn't shoot great from the the three point line. Uh, he only shot four of fifteen from the three point line, which was easily below where he was shooting from the uh, against the rest of the league. Uh, and it is important to note, though, that Middleton has shot nearly or slightly over a hundred percent. Or <clears throat> he shot three sixty four from the three point line in away games and four seventy in home games. Um, just throwing that out there. I'm not putting a huge stock into that. I think this is a, uh, not your typical type of environment, not your typical game. It is the first round of the play, uh, second round of the playoff, first game of the second round of the playoffs, my bad, uh, against the team that is the favorite to win it all. But I also like Drew Holiday. He's a big discount to both of those guys, nearly 2000 less than Kyrie. And he should bring back nearly 40 points here. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much of a discrepancy if he doesn't score as much as Kyrie to begin with. Uh, so that's where I would lean it to. Um, I like Middleton, Holiday, then Kyrie there. But for the most part, most of the other tier outside of the, the Stars tier, I don't really want too much Nets exposure. Uh, to me, Bruce Brown, Nick Claxton, those are the two guys that I want the most exposure to. Maybe some Blake Griffin, but I'm not huge on that. I, I don't mind going there, but... Um, Bruce Brown and Nick Claxton would be the two guys from the, the Nets that I want to squeeze into my lineup. Not want to, but I would squeeze in my lineup. Um, for the Bucks, I think it's a little bit more 
deeper of a um, deeper of a player pool there. I think Pat Connington makes a lot of sense. He's super cheap here, and again, we know there's no Divincenzo. He should play a, a solid role here, if not start. Uh, likewise with Bryn Forbes, who played really well the last couple games, um, took me by surprise. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. He doesn't cost too too much, only fifty six hundred. It's a little more expensive when we're trying to get all these top studs in the lineup. So I can't fault you if you don't have the the pay for that. Um, likewise with Brooke Lopez. Joe Harris is 7K, and that's just too expensive for me when Drew Holiday is 16 more, and you're, you're getting into that territory. But uh, Brooke Lopez is pretty much there as well, and that's why I'm jumping all the way down to Bryn Forbes, who I said uh, um, I think he's solid. I think Pat Connington's probably... Him and Nick Claxton are my favorite values. Uh, only 3600 for Connington and 2800 for Nick Claxton. Those two guys will probably find my lineup a lot because they are so cheap and I'm going to need to do that. Um, and I don't mind going to Bobby Portis, but he's slightly more expensive than I want to. I think Bruce Brown, Connington, and Claxton are my three favorite um, non-studly guys in this on this slate, and they, they're going to be the people that I have the most exposure to, uh, filling out my lineup, trying to get as many big guys as possible. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a showdown slate. There is not much uh, to it. You're gonna, we're gonna have at least one big guy, uh, probably two, maybe three if we can. And that would all, all depend on. Um, you can't have. Three, you can't have Harden, Giannis, and KD. That's just too much. Uh, but if you did have, say, um, Pat Connington as your captain, I don't really recommend that. But if you did, then you can have Harden, Giannis, Middleton, Kyrie. You can load up there. But um, to me, I think I'm going to go with one of the big guys, likely Giannis. Uh, if, unless they go to this mid-tier, then I'd probably go Middleton. And then fill it out with some of these guys out there uh, when I have to. And like I mentioned, Bruce Brown, Connaughton, Claxton are the three guys that I think are pretty safe, pretty reliable, and don't mind going there. Uh, one other guy, Landry Shimmett at 1800 uh, I'm not going to actively go there, but I may. there, there may be lineups and, and out there for everybody that you need somebody under 2 k and he would be my favorite under 2 k to take a chance on because you know he's in the rotation. You know he's going to get minutes and a couple shots. Um, and you could get some threes on the box. So he would be the one super, super cheap dart throw that I'd go after. Uh, but I'm not in love with that. All right, guys. That does it for a quick edition of Hoop Balls DFS today. Uh, we just have a showdown slate. And we may have another one. Uh, these things may are going to become the norm very soon as the playoffs get deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, but thank you guys for joining in or tuning in. And we look forward to continually, uh, continuing to help you guys fill out some lineups here. If you want to give us a rate review, tell us what you like, what you don't like. We'll incorporate what you like. We'll try and get rid of what you don't like. Uh, and then, yeah, I am... Uh, I believe Mike and Harris will be on here tomorrow, and they will catch a two-gamer because the Clippers won. I'm doing this after the Clipper-Mav game. I wanted to watch it all. Uh, and then we'll have a two-game Sunday slate for you guys, uh, which will be fun. Uh, we'll get back on the hey, multi-game after two straight showdown slates for you guys. But thank you for get, again for joining in or tuning in, and good night. Peace. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation. Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Thomas Hearns. Legends, whose four-way rivalry defined one of the greatest eras in boxing history. Relive their decade of dominance in the new Showtime sports documentary, The Kings, a four-part series premiering Sunday, June 6th, only on Showtime. Nobody builds 5G like Verizon builds 5G. 
Because we're the engineers who built the most reliable network in America. And the more you do with 5G, the more building it right matters. The more your network matters. The more Verizon engineers going the extra mile matters. It's us pushing us. It's Verizon versus Verizon. 5G built right from America's most reliable network. Most reliable based on rankings from Rootmetrics second half 2020 U.S. report of three mobile networks. Results may vary. Award is not an endorsement.